गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक इज डिफी हेलमन की एक्सचेंज अलगरिद इट इज अ पब्लिक की क्रिप्टो सिस्टम is in it so sender and receiver will have two keys public and private keys generally public key crypto system is used for encrypting the plain text not only for encrypting plain text it is also used for exchanging the key in symmetric algorithms like des for encryption and decryption same key will be used isn't it the key which is used for encryption and decryption should be shared so after sharing the key only either encryption or decryption will be performed again the key should be shared in a secured manner so in order to encrypt or in order to transfer that key this uh, diffie hellman key exchange algorithm will be used this is not for encrypting the data instead it is used to exchange the key between the sender and receiver in symmetric algorithms okay so actually public key crypto system was introduced by diffie and hellman so later rsa and other algorithms came into the picture okay this algorithm diffie hellman key exchange algorithm it is limited to the secure exchange of secret key so if you observe it is used to exchange the key not for encrypting the message okay and the security of the scheme depends on the difficulty of the computing discrete logarithms so here in order to so suppose if attacker want to obtain the secret key so both the sender and receiver will have the secret key so if if the attacker want to get the secret key of the receiver or the sender so attacker has to apply some discrete logarithms so and the procedure of this algorithm is diffie hellman key exchange algorithm is it uses initially it uses the prime number okay it initially it uses a prime number so if the prime number is represented with q and there will be an integer alpha so which is the primitive root of q so totally it requires two numbers one is the prime number q the other one is a primitive root of q primitive root of that particular prime number so primitive root is nothing but suppose so primitive root so first we need to select one prime number suppose 5 is the prime number then alpha is the primitive root so when we we'll say that alpha is a primitive root of 5 is we need to calculate alpha for, uh, so what suppose if the prime number is q we need to calculate from 1 to q so 1 2 uh, not not q q minus 1 okay so we need to choose the numbers from 1 to q minus 1 so if q is some number so then the category the modulo is z q then the primitive of alpha will be like uh, alpha will be in z q star that is uh, z p my uh, z q minus 0 okay that is the value is between 1 to q minus 1 so alpha is a primitive root and alpha is less than q and the value of alpha lies between 1 to q minus 1 and is all the numbers 1 to q minus 1 are the primitive roots roots no primitive root means so for a given number q alpha is less than q and alpha value is from 1 to 
q minus 1 1 to q minus 1 and so when alpha is said to be primitive root is if alpha power 1 mod q give some number and like that alpha square mod q okay so and so on alpha power q minus 1 mod q give some number so whatever the list getting from 1 to q minus 1 whatever the list of numbers we are getting if this list consists of all the numbers from 1 to q minus 1 from 1 to q minus 1 then alpha is called as the primitive root understood hello Why no response? Am I audible? Hello, CS11 students. Why no response? Am I audible? So, in Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol, first step is we have to choose one prime number. So, that prime number is Q. So after selecting the prime number, we need to choose an integer which is primitive root of the q. So that integer, so first uh, rule is that integer value is less than q and is less than q and uh, so when we say that alpha is a primitive root is, if we apply this formula alpha power 1 mod q and alpha square mod q, alpha cube mod q and so on alpha power q minus 1 mod q so here it will give a set of numbers isn't it among the set of numbers if it has all the numbers from 1 to q minus 1 why because it has uh, we are going to apply alpha power 1 to alpha power q minus 1 so among the set of values if it has all the values from 1 to q minus 1 then this alpha is called as a primitive root. Alpha is called as the primitive root. Okay, suppose if we take some number, so q is equals to 5, q is equals to 5 and I'm going to choose some alpha is equals to uh, 2, alpha is equals to 2, so root or not. So what we need to do, so first step is q is less than 5, it is true. Second step is uh, we need to do 2 power 1 mod 5. All of you give your answer. What is 2 power 1 mod 5? 2 square mod 5. 2 cube mod 5. Give your answer in chat box. 2 power 4 mod 5. So we need to calculate all these values. 2 power 1 mod 5 means 2. 2 square 4. 4 mod 5 is 4. 2 cube that is 8. 8 mod 5 is 3. 16, 16 mod 5 is what? 16 mod 5 is 1. So here if you see the set of numbers, so set of numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is between, uh, it is uh, having all the values from 1 to uh, 5 minus 1. So from 1 to Q minus 1. What is Q here in this example? Q is 5, means 1 to 4. All values are 1, 2, 3, 4, all values are there. So, we can call alpha is the primitive root of q. Okay, so alpha is the primitive root of q. So, every number, so what are the prime number we are going to choose? So, prime number may have n number of primitive roots. 
okay it doesn't uh, mean that it will have only one primitive rule uh, primitive root so it may have uh, some a number of primitive roots suppose here uh, given 5 alpha is equals to 2 is satisfying suppose if we take some other number alpha is equals to 3 it may satisfy or may not but if it gives so 3 power 1 mod 5 3 square 3 cube 3 power 4 mod 5 if it gives all this set from 1 to 4 without repetition then that uh, number is called as the primitive root okay so in the fe hellman key exchange protocol the uh, first step is we have to choose a prime number then take the uh, primitive root okay select an integer which is less than on uh, the given prime number and which is a primitive root of the prime number then so suppose users a and b wish to exchange a key so there are two users sender and receiver so before going to perform the encryption sender has to uh, exchange the key because both will use in symmetric algorithms both will use the same key so in order to uh, provide security for the key this diffie hellman key exchange algorithm will be used isn't it so if a and b wish to uh, exchange a key so what the user a first user uh, i mean uh, the a sender will do is so sender selects a random integer okay after selecting the prime number and the, uh, finding out the primitive root so sender uh, selects a random integer that is xa okay xa which is the private key okay xa is nothing but private key of sender that is a and always that private key is less than the uh, prime number that is q okay so sender will select a private key xa which is less than q then after selecting the private key sender has to calculate the uh, public key so this one ya ya is nothing but the public key ya is the public key whereas xa is the private key of sender is ya is equals to alpha par xa mod q so this is a formula should be applied in order to get the public key of the sender so this public key can be shared okay this public key can be shared uh, over the network to the uh, receiver and the receiver receiver will also have one private key so this xb is the private key of the receiver xb is the private key of the receiver means receiver has to select one integer random integer which is less than q xb is less than q and receiver will calculate the private public key receiver will calculate the public key using this formula yb is equals to alpha par xb mod q where alpha is the primitive root of q so after calculating the public key of sender as well as the receiver so what uh, how the key will be generated is so key will be generated using if sender is generating the key then sender will use sender's private key as well as receiver's public key suppose if receiver is generating the key then receiver will use receiver's public uh, receiver's private key and the sender's public key okay sender's public key so it said if x values are private why x is nothing but private key of sender as well as the receiver and makes y value available public to the other side so y is a public key so y value will be uh, shared or transmitted or uh, they can store a public key in a repository which will have access to everyone and then user a so that is the sender computes so both sender and receiver has to compute key value because the same key will be used for encryption as well as the decryption so if sender want to and the message first sender should know what is the key so how the key will be computed is simply by using sender's private key and receiver's public key so this uh, formula so k is equals to y b par x a y b par x a mod q so q is a prime number and at the same time receiver will uh, generate the key so or calculates the key using this one k is equals to receiver's private key and sender's public key 
Okay, so y a bar x b mod q. Okay, so these two calculations produces identical results. So whatever the key calculated, so whatever the key is there at sender, the same. So key will be uh, will get at the receiver side. Irrespective of the, the private key, they are going to choose uh, selecting the sender and receiver is selected. Okay. So this is the uh, Diffie-Hellman key exchange algorithm. Simply, first step is so first step is either sender or the receiver has to select the uh, uh, prime number. Okay. So first step is selecting the prime number that is Q and second step is uh, select the primitive root. So primitive root alpha where alpha is and Q. Okay, alpha is less than Q and it should satisfy the condition that is it should be a primitive root. So after calculating the primitive root, so I mean a Q will have a number of primitive roots among a number of primitive roots uh, sender and receiver has to choose one primitive root okay so these two are public this q and alpha are public okay prime number and these uh, two are public and then so after that so what the sender has to do so sender has to cal uh, choose sender has to select select the private key of the sender Okay, private key of the sender, that is, uh, private key is always less than the Q. And the fourth step is, receiver has to, okay, receiver has to select uh, what? Receiver has to select the private key, that is, XB, which is less than Q, again. And fifth step is, sender has to uh, calculate, sender has to calculate YA. Okay, so sender has to calculate YA. So where y a is nothing but alpha power x a more q. So where q is prime number, alpha is the primitive root, x is a, x a is the, the private key of sender. So this is the uh, fifth step. And coming to the sixth step. So sixth step is receiver. So receiver has to calculate. Receiver has to calculate the private, uh, sorry, public key, calculate public key, that is yb is equals to alpha bar xb, xb more q. This is the sixth step. So after calculating both uh, uh, public keys of a and b, so sender has to, sender has to uh, calculate the key value. So sender has to calculate key value. So the key value, k is equals to so uh, in order to calculate the key value, sender has to use receiver's public key, that is yb par and sender's private key, that is x par a mod q again, isn't it, mod q. And then receiver has to calculate the key. So receiver has to calculate the key, that is key is, the key k is equals to, receiver has to use uh, sender's public key that is y a sender's public key is y a and receiver's private key is x b mod q this is the procedure so where the primitive root will be used primitive root will be used to calculate the public key of sender as well as the the receiver so this is a, so whatever the calculated key is there this key is equals to the calculated key at the receiver side Understood the algorithm? So I'll have you answer this question.
is all of you answer the question if q is first calculate and give the answer directly you are giving without reading the question also if q is 3 then 2 is the primitive root of q is it true or false so what we need to do 2 power 1 mod 3 2 power 2 mod 3 so if it is giving the set of values that is 1 and 2 2 power 1 mod 3 is one sorry 2 power 1 mod 3 is 2 and 2 power 2 mod 3 is 1 that is 1 comma 2 it is giving 1 comma 2 give your answer i'm going to end the poll now and i have up, uh, i have uploaded module 3 part 1 in moodle you can download the ppt from moodle and today i'll upload part 2 as well because this is the last topic of module 3 okay dp helman key exchange algorithm is the last topic today i'll upload you can take the material okay so the question is if q is equals to 3 then 2 is a primitive root of q it is true or false it is true not false you can apply the uh, the formula then so i think you have understood the uh, algorithm the steps dp helman key exchange okay so the ultimate goal in the diffie hellman key exchange is sender has to calculate some key and whatever the key calculated at sender side that should be equal to the the key at receiver side both should get the the same key both sender and receiver should get the the same key so in order to calculate the sender uh, so what the sender is going to do is sender is using sender's private key and yb is the receiver's public key and which is same as so here this key is same as at receiver side uh, receiver is using receiver's private key and receiver is using uh, sender's public key okay so if we substitute what is by b by b is nothing but receiver's public key so this is the formula for receiver's public key so if we simplify this again so if you observe the first step so first step is calculating the key at sender side okay sender is this is uh, the formula for calculating key at sender side because it is using sender's private key and if you see the last step it is using the receiver's uh, receiver uh, it is calculating key at receiver side so because it is using receiver's uh, private key xp is nothing but receiver's private key and uh, it is using uh, sender's public key so both are same isn't it so this is the uh, overall uh, the uh, uh, formulas of the diffie hellman key exchange algorithm first one select a prime no uh, number q then alpha is a primitive root alpha is less than q and it is a primitive root, root of q and for user a so how the key will be generated both so sender will have two keys private key and public key receiver will have private and public keys So at sender side, private key will be selected. Okay, X A is less than Q in such a way that a private key will be selected and a public key will be calculated using what? Using the prime number, primitive root, and the private key. Selected private key. And at the same time, receiver side, receiver will select the private key and the public key will be calculated using the prime number, primitive root, and the receivers. private key then 
Uh, so after uh, generating both, uh, I mean, uh, after generating the public key of sender, sender has to calculate the key. So key uh, our formula is key is equals to k is equals to receiver's public key as well as the sender's private key mod q. And this is the generation of key at the user side, uh, user key that is receiver side. Suppose uh, if we choose some Pri uh, prime number. So we'll go with some example. The prime number is, so here in this uh, main, uh, the problem is uh, if the prime number value is getting uh, large, so then obviously the attacker will have the, the chance. Uh, so we, uh, the complexity will be increased. So if we take some example for Diffie-Hellman algorithm, that is first step, I'm going to choose uh, the pr prime number is Q is equals to, prime number Q is equals to seven. Okay, seven is a prime number, isn't it? Can anybody tell what is the primitive root of seven? The primitive root of seven. You can apply like a two. So you can calculate two is a primitive root or not. You can apply three. Three is a primitive root or not. Four, primitive root or not. Five, like that. So primitive root alpha may exist. So alpha is less than Q and alpha value lies between one to seven. So here the possible values of a primitive roots to the Q seven is possible values are three and five. Okay, so if alpha is equals to three, it satisfies and for alpha is equals to five also, it satisfies. So the sender and receiver can choose either three or five. But the thing is first they have to select either three or five because these two are public, Q and alpha is public. So here we can select alpha is equals to five. Okay, so Q is equals to seven, alpha is equals to five. If alpha is equals to five, and third step is calculate the, the private key of sender, that is XA, XA, sorry, selecting the private key. Suppose if sender is selecting private key like three, because XA is less than Q. Isn't it? It has to satisfy the condition x a should be less than q. And the fourth step is selecting the private key at receiver side. Suppose, so if receiver is using four, okay, as a private key, then again, this x b is less than q, isn't it? So after selecting this private and public, uh, so private uh, keys at the sender and receiver side, so now, sender has to calculate y a. Now tell me what is y a? You calculate and tell me what is public key of sender and public key of receiver. I'll display the formula for calculating the public key. Yes, we have to use these two formulas for y a this one and for y b so here alpha is 5 q is 7 x a is x a is 3 and x b is 4 so calculate and tell me what is y a and y b value so y a is nothing but phi bar three mod seven and y b is phi bar eight mod seven.
फाइव क्यूब इस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वन ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉड सेवन इज वॉट Why no answer? You can give your answer in chat box. हेलो व्हाट इज बाय ए वैल्यू फाइव पार थ्री मॉड सेवन वन ट्वेंटी फाइव मॉड सेवन सिक्स सिक्स Okay, if one twenty five mod seven is six, then what is five pi four mod seven? Okay, so here. Y A is six. Then this is six. And what is Y P? Six twenty five mod seven. So we'll get value two. Six twenty five mod seven is two. Okay. Now, so after getting this Y A and Y B. Now, key should be calculated at center side. So, for calculating key at center side, simply sender has to apply the formula. That is, sender has to use receiver's public key. So, I will display the formulas. So, this is the formula. K is equals to Y B. This is for sender and this is for receiver. You just calculate and tell me. So already we know. So for this, k is equals to y b. What is y b? That is two. Two par x a. What is x a? Is three. Two par three. Two cube mod seven. Two cube mod seven. And for this, at receiver side, receivers uh, senders public key. That is six. Six par receivers private key. That is four. Six par four mod. Seven. What is the result? So two cube mod seven means it is one. Okay, it is one. What is six power four value? Six by four is 
1296 mod 7 so which will give the value 1 only 1 1296 mod 7 is 1 so again the key value is 1 so at sender side key value is 1 and at receiver side also key value is 1 understood so eighth step we need to calculate at receiver side at both steps the key should be one so this is the diffie hellman key exchange algorithm So here, uh, another example that is, if Q is 353, so first of all, 353 is a prime number or not? Okay, so if 353 is a prime number, so again, in order to check whether it is a prime or not, we need to apply some primality test algorithms and the primitive root of 353 is, so there may be a number of primitive roots, so one among them is the three. Then if you choose three as a primitive root, I mean, if you choose three from the set of primitive roots of 53, then, so this is a formula for primitive root we already we discussed. So what we need to do is we have to calculate the, the private. So private key, uh, so we need to select the, the private key. So, so if private key is 97, which is less than 353. And also uh, the private key of the receiver, that is XB is 233, which is again less than 353. Then calculating, so you need to calculate the public key of both sender and the receiver. And we need to calculate the key value, that is K is this is at sender side and this is at the receiver side. So both will get the same value that is 160 for this example. But as a given prime number and the primitive roots with the selected uh, private keys of sender and receiver. Now, so this algorithm will have the, so every algorithm General every algorithm will have the brute force attack, but the brute force attack will depends on the the time complexity of the brute force attack depends on the the value which we are going to choose. So here in uh, public key crypto systems, it's all depends on the the prime number which we are going to choose. If we choose some uh, small prime numbers, then the complexity is is very less. So for large prime numbers, the complexity will get increased. So always the uh, depends on the, the prime number and the primitive root which we are going to choose and uh, these two are the so again so among all this uh, diffie hellman key exchange algorithm will have a different set of values right q that is the prime number alpha is a primitive root and xa is a private key xb is the private key of the receiver so these two are the private private and uh, a key will be calculated at sender side, okay, as well as at receiver side. Key will not be transmitted. Instead, it will not be transmitted. Which will be transmitted is the prime number and the uh, primitive root will be transmitted over the network. Okay, so key will be uh, calculated and uh, the key will be used for encryption and decryption. And uh, along with uh, this Q and alpha, this uh, public key will be transmitted over the network because sender has to use receiver's public key and the receiver has to use the sender's public key. So along with this Q and alpha, these will be transmitted over the network. Why the public keys of both will be used, transmitted. So here, even though the attacker knows all these public keys and the prime number primitive root, if the pub prime number is a very large number, then the uh, brute force attack, the attacker may not get the, the corresponding key. Okay, may not obtain the key. 
So, and the applications of Diffie Hellman algorithm is where exactly it is going to be used. So, it will be used in the, the transport layer of uh, OSI model and uh, it will be used in secure socket layers, public key infrastructure, internet key exchange, internet protocol security, which is a network layer protocol. IP is a network layer protocol, right? So it will be used in all these applications. So this is about the Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol or the algorithm, which is the public key algorithm. So whatever, so we used, I mean, we discussed till now, symmetric key and asymmetric key, all are used for the exchanging the, uh, I mean, converting the plain text to the cipher text or for key exchange or for key exchange or sometimes these public key algorithms will be used for digital signature. So in order to uh, transmit some document, it will attach some digital signature for that purpose also this uh, public key type system will be used. So all of you do one thing. I'll give the values and uh, the example values are Q is equals to 11 and alpha, the primitive root is 2. If alpha is 2, okay, and if alpha is 2 and uh, Q is 11, okay, you just uh, calculate the public key. So for a given values, private key is 8. Okay. Private key of sender is 8. Private key of receiver is 4. So these are the required values. So all of you calculate value, public key value, public key of sender, public key of receiver, and also calculate the key value. Okay, these are the given values. So I'll create whole question with this. Give your answer for that. First to calculate and give the answer. So poll questions will also be considered in continuous assessment. You know that, right? Q is seven, not seven. Q is eleven, right? Q is eleven and alpha is two. Q is eleven and the primitive root. Two. X A is eight. B, that is public private key of receiver is four. Then Y A
So all of you calculate. And give your answer through this whole question. Any doubts in DP Hellman key exchange algorithm? Yes, if no doubts after submitting your question, I mean your answer, you can leave the session. Thank you. But I need response from every student. Only seven students responded. So all of you take uh, notes from Moodle. I'll upload, today I'll upload uh, the PPT, not uh, the document PDF and the, the, the notes. Instead, I'll apply, uh, upload only PPT. Yes, I'm going to end the poll now. All of you give your answer.